Over the last 10 years, I have seen countless number of babies who parents have described to me as fussy eaters or just wouldn't stay in a high chair. And after providing them with a suitable high chair that gives them the postural support they need, they will start to eat. A high chair can literally mean the difference between having a baby who's a fussy eater or mealtimes being a struggle to mealtimes becoming an enjoyable experience for everyone. So today I'm going to share with you the best high chair out there which is going to give your baby the support that they need to sit to make mealtimes enjoyable. Before we talk about that, make sure you click on that free PDF document in the description box below which will cover the developmental milestones you can be expecting for your baby in the first year of life. This will give me valuable peace of mind as you'll know what to be expecting and when to be concerned. Also, if you want to make parenting significantly easier, make sure you start now by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you won't miss a thing. So, what is hands down the best high chair out there? It is the Stokey Trip Trap chair with the baby set. Now, I know this high chair is expensive. In Australia, you can get it for around $400, but the bonus of this high chair is it has lots and lots of features that existing high chairs, so the cheaper options don't. Also, the cheaper options aren't that much cheaper. So I'm gonna talk about the six features of this high chair that make it the best high chair available for your baby now and into the future. So the very first thing about a trip trap chair is it actually has adjustable footrest in depth and also height, which means that your baby is actually going to be able to have foot support when they're six months old and first using this chair. Now, I know you think that other high chairs out there have foot support, they do, and some of them claim that they've got semi-adjustable foot rest support, but when you place a six month old baby in them, their feet often do not make any contact with that foot rest. And it's extremely important that your baby does have foot support because when they're sitting at six months, they don't yet have the ability to sit for a really long period of time. They might be sitting for five minutes tops and then they start to topple over. So just imagine if I gave you a bar stool and told you to sit without any foot support, you would find that extremely difficult. So a six month old who has no foot support and doesn't have the ability to sit for a really long period of time is going to find sitting in a high chair with no support really really difficult so having adjustable footrest is a must now because the trip trap chair has the ability to adjust the footrest your baby's going to get that support at their feet from six months of age and then as it they grow you can start to lower that foot rest which means that they'll always have that sub foot support the second feature i love about this chair is it has the ability to adjust the overall seat height of the high chair and that's simply by moving the seat lower as they grow bigger now what's really important about this is that Generally high chairs out there at the moment are too big for their ba for babies so that their arms are resting up really, really high and they're not able to interact with the food because their arms are up too high and the added um, difficulty is that they can't really see the food really well. So having the ability to adjust the overall seat height of the chair means that your baby from six months of age, when they first use this chair, they're going to have their arms resting on the table at the ideal height, which is at, um, bent 90 degrees at their elbows so that when they're resting on the tray, their arms are resting or at the table, their arms are resting really nicely and they're able to see the food they're going to be interacting with but they're also most importantly going to be able to use their hands to interact with the food and as we know if you give your baby that opportunity to look and smell and interact with the food you're really one step ahead already so the third feature I love about this chair is its ability to grow with your baby up until adulthood now we know it has adjustable footrest in regards to overall depth and also height of the footrest and that's the same with the overall seat height. So you can change the overall height of the seat and you can also change the overall depth of the seat. Now the added bonus of this chair is that it's really easy to make these adjustments to the chair to grow with your baby. You simply use an Allen key to loosen off the side and then you pull the slab out and then you move it down a few slots and then slide it back in and then you tighten it up. So that adjustability and the ease of making those adjustments makes this 
high chair significantly easier to use as a parent. It also has a huge weight capacity of 110 kilos or 242 pounds which is amazing. Other high chairs that you can get at the moment have a weight capacity of 15 kilos or 33 pounds. Now my one and a half year old is already 15 kilos so Technically, I wouldn't be able to use any of those other high chairs anymore because he's simply too heavy. And trust me, he's not overweight. So that would mean that I'd have to then go and purchase another high chair, which means that the overall costs of my high chairs would be significantly higher. So going straight to the trip trap, even though it is expensive, means that I can use this high chair for a longer period of time. Now you might be thinking, is my baby really gonna be needing a high chair when they're three, four, seven, nine years of age the answer is they will use some form of adaptive seating up until I would say mid teens and that's simply because the dining chairs and the tables are too big for our um, children and early teenagers so they need to have that foot support when they're still older which you can't get when they're sitting on a dining chair and that table is still too high so you need to raise them up off this um, chair a little bit so having a trip trap chair which they can use when they're older means that meal times are going to be more enjoyable for the extended period of time so into the future mm -hmm. and also it will help in assisting in developing their fine motor skills which is going to be particularly important when they're having to do homework mm -hmm. so the fourth feature of this chair which I really like is that you can actually pull this high chair up to the dining table which is huge for me for three reasons. The first reason is that babies learn to eat by watching others eat, so they're able to watch you eat the food at the dining table. Then that leads to babies are more willing to actually eat the food because they've seen you eat it and they know it's safe. And the third reason is that babies um, create lots and lots of mess when they're eating so basically because you don't have a high chair there's less cleanup required because you just simply wipe that dining table the fifth feature of this chair which I really like is that it's easy to clean now this is really important because meal ties themselves are really really messy and we want babies to be messy when they're eating because that's how they explore food but having something that's really difficult to clean like a high chair can make meal times extremely stressful for parents so because the trip trap is made from just timber and um, plastic it's really easy to clean the seats that high chairs that come with the plastic covers are great um, but they're difficult to clean because food will often get caught in those crevices so having a simple timber that you just wipe over and the plastic means that it's really easy to clean the trip trap chair which is extremely important because we're really busy as parents the sixth feature of this chair is that it has a five point harness now that's really important for safety reasons because it ensures your baby is safe when they're in a high chair some high chairs out there don't have harnesses at all or they only have a two-point harness which makes it not as sturdy for your baby so having a five-point harness is great because it ensures stability and their safety now the Stokey trip trap chair with the baby set doesn't have some features which include the ability to recline the backrest. This is not required. I know it's sold in a lot of other commercial um, high chairs, but really when your baby's starting solids at six months of age, you want them to be sitting upright, not significantly reclined at all. So having that ability to recline isn't necessarily required. The other thing it doesn't have is wheels. In my whole 10 years practicing as a pediatric occupational therapist, I have never seen parents wheel a high chair from one room to the other. High chairs, once they're set up, generally stay in the same spot, so wheels are not required. What this chair does have is it has um, any tippers, which is fantastic because when the baby's sitting in the Stokey Trip Trap chair, they're not going to accidentally tip themselves, which is something that you worry about when they're getting older and they're pushing themselves away from that dining table. And lastly, it doesn't have the ability to fold up. Again, I don't think this is a feature that is required in a high chair simply because yes, initially your baby at six months might only be having solids once a day, but by 12 months of age, your baby is having solids five times a day. So basically, that's every two and a half hours you are not going to be folding up that high chair in between meals the other thing is I actually recommend high chairs to use to help develop your baby's fine motor skills so in addition to sitting in the high chair for um, 
meal time, you can place them in that high chair to work on that fine motor development. So you're definitely not going to be putting a high chair into a cupboard in between meal times and in between play. It is actually going to be staying out in your living room or dining room all the time. So that ability to fold is definitely not required in a high chair. So that's it mums and dads. Those are the reasons I think the Stokey Trip Trap chair with the baby set is the best high chair out there at the moment and why I recommend it to all new parents. Remember to get that free PDF document in the description box below and hopefully I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks to make your life as parents significantly easier.